Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. If you want to use ChatGPT to use code, you are in the right place. And it's something really, really easy. So speaking about code, what we can do is to ask almost everything here into the ChatGPT from how can I get some creative ideas for a 10 year old birthday to how do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript. So just for the test here, I tap for example this option, hit into send, and what happens here says an error code, if this issue pursues, please contact us through our help center and help opens. This sometimes happened, so what I want to do is to use a VPN, if this works for you, uh, then try to reload the page, if this does not, try to make the new threat, the new threat and reload the page once again. So, as you can see, I've just reloaded my page, I try to open and close once again, we're experiencing exceptional high demand, please hang tight as we work on scaling our systems. So here it is, it's actually really, really simple. So as you can see, I do have like a few examples of what does the chat open AI can do for me. So let's say that I need, I see method that accepts a git as a string and returned a base64 version of the git. So if I hit into enter, let's say, let's see what does the chat can do for us. So I just need to wait, wait a few seconds and see what will be the answer for the chat open AI. All right, here's one way you could implement this method in C sharp. And here is the code. Post to input string as a git git equal to git dot parse. I think like this is not like the most accurate way to do some coding, but here converting by bit array to base64 string return convert to base string base64. So here are a few things and the methods where I can start to do some code, which I could be a little easy. Let's try to do something more more easier so you can understand this. So I'm going to ask the same thing. I'm going to ask something like write a C sharp method that returns uh, good morning, Stephen, when it's morning, good afternoon, Stephen, when it's afternoon, and good evening, Stephen, when it's evening. So I just need to uh, just make sure that the commas are in the right place. There we go, there we go, there we go. Let's say I just want to tap this as a shop and go into enter and see if the computer can do something. Uh, what I just asked it actually. Here's one way you could implement this method in the C shop. So public static string get greetings, string name, get the current hour. So it's gonna be sending me the date here. If hour this is equal to it's morning return to good morning plus a name if it's afternoon good morning plus a name if it's evening good evening plus a name really really great use this method would you like this uh, string reading get reading Steven there we go really really easy and if I want show me the new code for get reading I'm gonna hit into enter this is how we can use the chat open AI to help us to code to write some codes so hopefully you guys was a very useful video for you don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if this was very useful for you thank you so much for watching this video this is so great to have the chat open ai and there you have it guys really really awesome see you in the next one